We're going to go over the chargers that we have today. This is for the flood lead acid trojan charger and this is for our lithium car chargers. So if you start to have problems with plugging your cord in, you can simply take dry molly, you can take a silicone spray and spray that down a little bit and it'll be a lot easier to go in. So with that said, we're going to go over how the chargers work and what these lights right here on every charger that we have now are going to, going to tell you. So starting with the bottom, there's a little blue light here on the bottom of that charger. So when that blue light comes on, that tells us that we have AC power from your cart barn or your garage. Now, when the green light comes on and starts flashing, that means we are charging. When this turns solid, that means the battery is fully charged to 80%. And then the top of it will start flashing and we're trying to top off the rest of your batteries. So when this turns solid, it goes to 100% fully charged. Now, this there's a little diagnostic light right up here. It can turn red or amber. If it does turn red, the charger is no good. You need to get it back to us. We need to see if we can warranty and get you another one. Now, if it does turn to an amber light, the amber light means that the voltage is lower than 42 volts or the charger has got overheated. So if that if the charger was charging and then the amber light came on about 15 minutes to an hour later, uh, simply unplug the charger, wait five minutes, let it cool down internally, plug it back in and it'll start charging once again. And there's one other thing. If it shows an amber light and it's flashing and your voltage is good, well, there is a fuse that you need to check inside the battery bucket. And for, with that said, I want you to think about your influence. Your influence, a lot of young people have their eyes on you, and I hope you put out a positive light. Until the next round.